So the Bible tells us clearly that aged men are supposed to be teaching the younger men. But what goes in our communities today? No, that's not happening. Right. You got men having babies and leaving their sons and daughters alone. Right. The, the, oh, the aged men are not teaching the young men. Right. Get Job chapter 32 and verse 9. The aged men are not teaching the young men how to live, how to be, how to be men. How to walk the, how to walk uprightly. They're teaching them how to gang bang. They're teaching them how to smoke weed. Right. They're teaching them how to get drunk. Right. That's the example that our aged men are having for us today. Right. That's upside down. This world has been turned upside down because our people, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you hate God and you hate his laws. We really Read. Know the book of Job, chapter 32, verse 9. Great men are not always wise. The Bible is very clear. It says great men are not always wise. Who are those great men? It's our elders. Those that's a 40, 50 above and above. They are not always wise. Because the wisdom of God, the wi wisdom to, uh, for an aged man to have wisdom means he's going to teach his sons and daughters God's laws. That's what wisdom is. But today we don't see that. We don't see great men teaching the young men God's laws. We teaching them, we see them teaching them how to hold a gun, how to, how to bag up dope, how to bag up weed. That's doing nothing but destroying our communities, creating hatred and strife once and one amongst another. Right. Read. Great men are not always wise. Uh -huh. Neither do the aged understand judgment. And the aged don't understand judgment. They don't understand that the things that's going on in our communities because they have failed us. That's right. They don't understand that our young men hating each other, shooting each other down in the streets. It's because they are stay they they our older men are stuck in the in the uh, parks getting drunk. They stuck in the parks instead of guiding and leading their house. Instead of guys leaving their houses uprightly, they staying in the, they st sitting in the park all day getting drunk. Sitting in the park all day smoking blow. Right. Just sitting in the park all day smoking weed. Right. That's not the example that you're supposed to be setting for the young men. That's, right. That's why there's so much killing going on in our communities. That's why we got men walking down the street dressed like women. Bring it out. That's not supposed to be going on. Right. Our, our aged men are supposed to, hey my brother, come over here real quick. Come over here real quick, man. Come on, come on. You listen, I'm not see you listening. You, 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 you. What's the name, bro? But why is they doing what they want to do? Because what happened? What, what happened to our fathers? Our fathers. We grew up without our fathers in the home, and what happened? So what? What was the cause? The cause of our fathers not being around? The mother. Huh? The mother. The mother what? The mother the mother. Give me uh again that Ezra chapter is it five and eight? Second or because Second Ezra chapter five and eight. Because what happens when the men leave the household, that leaves the mother to raise men, to raise the children by herself. I do man. And that's that's out of line. It's not supposed to happen because what's gonna happen? The men are gonna grow up and they they're not gonna know how to be men. They gonna grow up in a house with a you got it? Read that. The book of Second Estrus, chapter 5, verse 8. There shall be a confusion also in many places. So the Bible lets us know that there's going to be a confusion in many places. What's that confusion that the Bible is referring to? That confu When it's confusion, everything is out of order. Everything is out of whack. And what do we see in the streets of Chicago? A lack of order, a lack of discipline. And it's not just in Chicago. It's in Detroit. Right. It's in uh, California. It's everywhere we go. It's in Indiana. Everywhere we go, every every community that you see of our young men in, the things are out of order and out of whack. Right. Because we're killing each other no matter where you go. Yeah, they try to make it like Chicago is the, the, the murder capital. But no, everywhere you go amongst our people, what are we doing? Gang banging against one another. My brother, come closer. What's your name, my brother? Kid. 
Do you hear what we saying? You, you are you familiar with the Bible? Do you see do you see these things going on amongst our people and our community? And this, we, we what we showing you is that these things are happening because we are the Israelites. Right. That's right. We are being punished by the Most High God. The reason that we are we are confused and we really don't know which way is right because a lot of us know what know what we doing is wrong. That's right. But we really don't we don't have no other. We, we, in our minds, we think that we don't have no other choice but to do what we're doing. Right. When we don't know another way, though. That's what I'm saying. We, we don't, we, we think that we don't, we think that there's no other way but what we've seen growing up. But what we are here to show you that it is another way. God's commandments is the other way. That's right. Because that, it's a confusion. Let's read that. Let's finish reading this. I love it. There shall be a confusion also in many places. So that's it says there's going to be a confusion in many places. So wherever we are at, there's a confusion in our communities. Because what happened? We got Big Ma. The, the, the mother is, is holding the seat of authority of the house when the man is supposed to be holding the seat of authority. That's confusion. And that's what happens. Nothing against our sisters because our sisters do the best they can. But they, it's out of order. They, it wasn't, the woman was not designed to lead the house. Read. And the fire shall be off sent out again. Uh -huh. And the wild beasts shall change their places. Uh -huh. And mistress women shall bring forth monsters. So it says, and mistress women shall bring forth monsters. So it said the single parent households, a single parent, a single mother is gonna bring forth monsters. Why? Because she don't know how to show a young man how to be a man. Right. That young man gonna grow up and what he's gonna grow up. He's gonna see the emotions of his mother, and that's how he gonna grow up and live. Right. His brother gonna do something to him. Right. I can't believe this nigga did this. And he's shooting him. That's a monster, because the work of a, a monster don't have no right or wrong. A monster just do what he do. A monster just gonna do what he think is right. I grew up in a, in, a, in, a, in a home with just my OG, right? Most of us did. Now, I seem to act out for her emotions, but I don't act out for my emotions because I, I already know what happened to her, right? Now, I wonder if I don't act out for my emotions. Though. One, one, if, I, one if I'm going to go the opposite. You said, what if you're the total opposite? Then this, is right, this right here is for you. Because that's what men do. We supposed to have, I'm not saying that we're not going to have emotions. We have emotions, but the mark of a man is that it, uh, whether his whether his emotions are, whatever the emotions is, we going to act off principle. And that principle that we should be acting off of is God's law. That's right. Get a uh, hold that, get second kick. Get Second Kings, um, no, First Kings. It's First Kings two and two. First Kings chapter two and two. Because this is what we supposed to do as men. But even growing up in the house, let's say you, you grew, you say you grew up in the house and you didn't pick up that emotional side from your mother. You still didn't learn how to be a man. Because of the, when a man is in the house, that son is going to grow up. And it, that son will grow up and be decent and in order. Because that father, uh, the father ain't going to, if, if you had a father for a little bit of time, you know your father ain't going to play the same thing that your mother played. Right, right. Because most of us grew up like that. I grew up single parent home. But the time that I, I think my, my father left when I was about eight. To this day, he instilled in me the fear, the enough fear that I won't call him by his first name. With my mother, I would call him by his first name. So that if your father is going to sit down and foot like, nah, that ain't happening over here. And that's what our young men and me, we need that type of direction. And that, and that really leads to you know, the feel of going out without respect same thing because when you when you have fear when you have fear towards your father we're supposed to have I, ultimately our fear is supposed to be towards the most high god that's a respect meaning that i'm not gonna cross this boundary with my father because i know if i cross that boundary he ain't gonna play with me and that's what we're trying to show because ultimately the, the, the all of the chaos that's going on in our community is because the nation of israel the blacks and spanish and native americans we have broke the commandments of our god that's who, right. our father and right now we're going through the curses and we're being rebuked because of we broke his commandments read what you got the book of first kings chapter 2 verse 2 I go the way of all the earth. So this is the, our forefather David. See, he's saying, I go the way of all the earth. David's gonna die. So he sees he's giving direction to his son who's gonna be who's gonna reign as king after him. He said, I go the way of all the earth. David knew he was about to die. So read. Peace 
thou strong therefore and show thyself a man so he told his son be strong and show yourself a man be strong and show yourself a man be strong and show yourself a man. Let's see what that means. He said, be strong and show yourself a man. Let's see what David was instructing his son to do. Read. And keep the charge of the Lord thy God. He said, keep the charge of the Lord thy God. Meaning, keep those things that the Lord thy God charged you to do, encouraged you to do, commanded you to do. Read. To walk in his ways. To walk in his ways. To walk in the commandments. To walk in the Bible. To walk around and keep your beard. To walk around and keep your pants above your butt. Right. Read. To keep his statutes uh -huh. and his commandments and his judgments and his testimonies as it is written in the law of Moses. That that thou mayest prosper in all that thou doest. So what a man is going to do, he's going to teach his sons how to keep the commandments. He's going to teach his daughters how to keep the commandments. Because he knows that the, the only way they're going to be, they're going to be, they're going to prosper and they're going to be in good health, they're going to have good things going on for them is when they keep God's commandments. That's what a real man is. A real man is not going to sell drugs to his people. A real man is not going to gang bang and shoot and rob and kill his people. Bring it up. That's not a real man. That's not a real man. A real man is going to keep God's commandments. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.